what's going on guys, this is us. Welcome to a game called The Terrible Old Man. Uh, this is a game that's based on a short story written by H.P. Lovecraft, as you can see right there. I have not read the original story, so I'm gonna assume that it's... By base, they mean it's exactly after the original story. And, uh, for those of you wondering why I have earbuds in, uh, well, the, uh, P11s went the way of the PS3 and the Dodo Bird. They are now dead. So, we're gonna get into this now. I believe this is a horror game, actually. And, uh... Rick, stop texting. Wait, what? Rick, stop texting me. Okay. So we're gonna begin. We're in a bar, I see. So, Angela, when are we gonna blow this joint? Oh, I see. It's a lot. Oh my god, what happened to his face? I see. We head out tomorrow. It's a few hours' drive to Boston. How long or how long are we stand there for? I, I would do voices for these, but I don't even know what these guys would sound like. Oh, I'd say just tonight. We gotta keep moving. And we, oh my god. And then we head back to Arkham. Is that a place in Massachusetts, or is it the Arkham City? That's right, I've been talking to a guy up there who might be able to get us some action, you know? You see? See, Muggsy? Say, I might speak... Say, oh my god. Say, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? <laughs> Incredible. Chanik? Janik? Janik? I don't know. Why don't you get your pasty ass over there and give her your best line? Maybe I will. And get us some beers while you're at it. You've still got some cash from the old broad the other night. Yeah, you got a few bucks left. I don't have a dime. Hell, that, hell, that woman was so old she couldn't even get out of the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. Better old manual... Better old manual here spends on hooch than let. Oh my, <coughs> sorry, my God, I can't speak. It spends on hooch then let it sit there gathering dust for another two years before he, she bites it. That does that sense make any sense to anyone? Damn right. Well then, get us some beers, boy. Oh God. Left click to interact. Right click to observe for inventory and setting move cursor at the top of the screen. Oh, that's convenient. Okay, it's kind of point and clickish, I guess. Say there, miss, can I have a word with you? Oh, very, they animate. Leave me alone, greaseball. Oh, that's nice of you. Hey, 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 no need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. Go conversate elsewhere, maybe to your mother. Oh! Ha, <laughs> struck out again, Shanik. I'm calling him Chanik. Not like Sanic, but Chanik. Suit yourself. Okay, get those beers, I guess. Three beers over here. Where are you guys from? Boston? Innsmouth? None of your goddamn business. Just give us some beers. Hey, this is my bar. You watch your manners, stranger. Folks are nice here in Kingsport. We look after each other. Three beers. Please? That'll be two dollars, my foreign friend. Two dollars for three beers, my goodness. Oh, I have to... <coughs> Sorry, I get a little bit of cough. Two dollars right here. Three beers coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Gosh darn, the barrel is dry. I'm gonna have to go roll up a new one. Sit tight. <sighs> Dicky eating his dinner yet? I swear we'll hold chocolate cake in front of his face. I swear we sat. Oh my god. I swear we sat a whole chocolate cake in front of his face and he didn't so much as blink. The boy's been affected. You've taken him to Doc Reeves. He'll get to the bottom of it. Well, he's only been acting strange since his run in with that old fellow the other night. I shouldn't let the boy out so late. What happened? You know that very old man, a former sea captain of some sort? You see him around town. Pays for his groceries and gold doubloons. Ooh. Must be ballin'. I've heard about him, yeah. Feeble and ancient. I heard that he talks to bottles he has lined up on a table inside his house. Calls them names like Spanish Joe and Mate Ellis. Yeah, most peculiar chap. Best avoided, I think. No need to upset such folk. Something you need to teach Dickie. A bit of respect. So what happened was Dickie threw a stone at the window, you see. 
And the old man caught him in the act to give him a good talking to, I bet. Dicky won't talk about what happened exactly. I didn't realize someone could move her face like that. I don't know. Oh dear. He's a stupid boy. Go, You go around throwing stones through folks' windows and well, they aren't going to be happy, no matter how feeble they are. I told him he's not leaving the house for a month apart from going to his lessons. It must be quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that, using old coins for currency. The man must be sitting on a fortune. Tell me about it. I heard he captained clipper ships in the east, uncountable years back, and bought back untold treasures. Sorry about the wait. Here's your beers. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Okay, so we're getting some backstory. Boys, you're not going to believe it. We got a date with that broad? He wishes. I think we got ourselves a job in it. Well, spit it out, then. I heard those two chaps speaking about a crazy old man who lives in town, so rich he pays for things with gold doubloons. Heck. Gold doubloons? Yeah, he's got a room in this house where he stands there talking to bottles. A rich and senile old fart. Haha, <laughs> he sounds like a cinch. Let's get there tonight and see what he's got to on offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. Where's the old man's house, then? I don't know. They didn't say. Find out, Chanik. Find out, and we may find riches tonight. Okay, so I guess we have to talk to these guys. <coughs> say, fellas... What was that you guys were saying about an old man around these parts? What's it to you, stranger? I just overheard your story. Sounds like a real character. Indeed he is. Shuffles about with his cane dropping gold all over the show. Oh, we get, we get an options. Where does the old man live? His house is along the coast. A crumbling ancient pile it is, too. One of the oldest in Kingsport, I venture. What's the address? Are thinking of visiting him, are you? Why on earth would you want to see him for? A treasure hunter, are you? Uh... I don't know if that's a good thing to admit. No. Good, the last thing we need in this town is outsiders bringing their wayward criminal ways with them. So why do you know his address? Why should we trust you outsiders? Was, that's, uh... We found... We so wish to return it. Tornio this money. We're a traveling salesman. I think a local paper might be the smartest. We wish to interview him for a local paper. Oh yes, what's the name of a local paper then? Oh crap. The Telegraph, the Times, the Kingsport Commune. Uh, the Telegraph? Oh shit. Sir, you are a pathological liar. Let's talk to the woman again. I thought, I don't know. The Kingsport Commune seemed kind, kind of too easy. Do you know about a rich old man who lives in town? Oh, you're back again. Don Juan doesn't stop trying tonight, does he? I'm a very persistent person, man. Fair. I don't know the old man. You're lying. Everyone must know him. Leave me alone. You got the address yet? I'm working on it. Oh. Where did you gonna spend the gold? It was Janik. What are you gonna buy, Miguel? A dog. One of them real fancy ones. Gonna name him Jackson. <coughs> Hello again. Suppose you're still on his address. How do you know we can trust you, outsider? All right. I'm just gonna guess. Kingsport Commune. They're all wrong? They're all wrong. Okay. Bull to the shit. Car key. Well, I'll save it really quick. Save. I guess. I don't know exactly what to do here. There are pictures over here. Maybe the barman knows something. Want to walk a little slower there, bud. Do you know about the a rich old man who lives in town? Can't say I do. You must. I don't gossip about local services. A respectable town. Pah! 
What can you tell me about the broad over there? She's in here working all the time. Doesn't look like she's up to much. What's her line of work? Why don't you ask her yourself? Because well, that didn't work, evidently. Uh, what can you tell me about the two guys at the bar? Hey, we're right here. Mind your own business, stranger. What he said later. Let me know when you want those drinks refilled. Try talking to her again. Not you again, I'm busy. What are you working on apart from being pretty? <laughs> well, I might not be busy, but my job requires a lot of thinking. Oh yeah? What's your vocation? I'm a journalist. Whoa, a big shot. Why am I talking to you? Say so you write for the paper? Yes, the Kingsport Daily Star. That wasn't an option. Why did they... Interesting. Now get lost before I write an article about the outsiders pestering local women and boss. Okay, okay, put your knickers back on. Now we have the name of the paper, so we will... Hello again, I suppose... Uh, paper? Uh, Kingsport Daily Star. Nonsense. It's the truth. We are journalists from Boston. We do freelance work. Sounds like the old man could give us a great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of exploration, treasure, and chivalry. Doesn't sound like he's into much chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying now. The old man lives up on Water Street. His property backs onto Ship Street near the shore. Thanks, I appreciate it. Guess we'll talk to these guys. Fellas, I got the address. Good work, Shanny boy. Where is it? Back entrance is on Ship Street by the harbor. Hey, we passed that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Shannick, you take the car. Sybil and I will go on foot and meet you at the place. It's better if we arrive separately. Nice plan. Let's go, boys. There's treasure to be had. Let's do this thing. Okay. So I guess we're just gonna rob the old guy. Later that evening. Oh my god, is that loud. Hang on, I'm actually gonna... Lower that for you guys. Alright, we're all here. What's the plan, boss? Sylvie, you and I will go in through... We'll go in through this here gate. Shanik, you stay and watch. Okay, I can't take it. Okay. Before we do anything, looks like there's a light up there, Shanik. Can you have a better look? We gotta make sure he ain't watching us. something in the trunk that I need? Trunk is locked. The music doesn't sound too good. The key for the ignition, or the key for the uh, trunk. And maybe Silva has it. No, thank you. Balls, I do. <laughs> trunk key. Okay. Okay, a good robber always comes prepared. We have a spyglass, a crowbar, and some masks. Okay. I assume we gotta give the masks to the guys, because they're the ones gonna be doing the job. Let's see what the old man is doing first. He's in there, but silly old fool looks like the easiest target we ever had. 
Good work, Chanik. He really is talking to a bunch of old bottles. As long as they're, we're quiet out here, he shouldn't notice us. He's engrossed in his queer little pursuits. Oh, that didn't sound good. Pathetic. You got our masks then? Yes, I do. I tried to hand them to you earlier. But, uh... Here's the masks. Okay, get that gate open. Crowbar time. Ha! We're in. Good work, Chanik. Okay, Silva, let's go in. How are we gonna play it, boss? The old sea dog might not have too loquacious concerning his treasures. We may need to make him talk. If that, that's if the gold isn't even hidden. If he is a scene as we expect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. Don't go too hard on the old goat. Stop with the bells, man. We'll do what we need to do. The screams of an old man can easily be muffled. Oh, God. Silva, you've hit the nail on the head. Chanik, wait for us in the car. We should be back in an hour at the most. Sounds like a plan, Richie. Why do I get the... Uh, remember, be gentle. Why do I get the feeling something's going to go horribly wrong? And I don't know how long this game is. We're already 17 minutes in. I might cut some of it. But... One hour later. What the hell is taking him so long? No, thank you. What's happened? They better not have knocked the old fellow off. I told him. I told him I said I didn't want to go too hard on the old goat. Oh, I don't like that music. Okay, that actually creeped me out. Oh my god, I have goosebumps. What little the hell? things make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talk all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly oh, slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels, which the tide washed in. And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this <coughs> idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far-off days of his unremembered youth. Well, that's it. That wasn't as long as I thought it'd be. This is straight HP Lovecraft. Alright guys, I think that's gonna do it for this. I really enjoyed that, and I hope they make more like that. That was pretty cool. I do have one called The Telltale Heart Next that's based on a story by, um... Oh, Edgar Allan Poe, so that might be next. But, uh, in the meantime, guys, I will see you... Oh god, what is that? Hope that's just the logo of a company, Barracuda Egg. Whoa. And the game closes itself. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Alright, guys. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, you can hit that like button and subscribe as well if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves, guys.